Good morning. I'm Leonard Hamlin, Canon Missioner of the Washington National Cathedral. It gives me great pleasure to be able to meet you on this Thursday morning, September 5th. I'm thankful for the privilege and opportunity uh, to gather together with you as we walk through the scriptures and share a moment of prayer together. So I invite you to join me in a word of prayer. Almighty God, we come so ever thankful for your love towards us and your presence with us. We thank you for how you continue to draw us closer together with each other and closer together with you. And now we ask that you would continue to bless us, fill us, and that you would fill us so that we might be ready and prepared for all of the places that you are sending us. So on this beautiful Thursday morning, we ask your blessings upon each and every one. This is our prayer. In your wonderful name we pray. Amen. I certainly invite you this morning to join me as we hear the reading of the gospel out of Luke, the fifth chapter, the first through the eleventh verses. And in Luke's gospel, we find these words. Once while Jesus was standing beside the lake of Gennesaret, and the crowd was pressing in on him to hear the word of God, he saw two boats there at the shore of the lake. The fishermen had gotten out of them and were washing their nets. He got into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little way from the shore. Then he sat down, and he taught the crowds from the boat. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into the deep water and let down your nets for a catch. Simon asked, answered, Master, we have worked all night long, but have caught nothing. Yet if you say so, I will let down the nets. When they had done this, they caught so many fish that their nets were beginning to burst. So they signaled their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled their both boats so that they began to sink. When Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Go away from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For he and all who were with him were astounded at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. Then Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching people. When they had brought their boats to shore, they left everything, and they followed him. Amen. I'm thankful for this particular reading on this morning, and it is perhaps one of the more familiar readings that some who are gathering in this moment have heard. I pray that it might be a renewed reading, for some who have heard it before, but maybe have not walked through it in some time. And then it might be even a completely fresh reading for those who have just begun uh, your, to walk in your journey along the path that you might be able to perhaps dig just a little bit deeper into the faith and into the walk. Because so many times when we read the different passages and the encounters, we learn so much. And truth is, we open up that we might be able to learn more about who Jesus is, more about Jesus' life, more about the things that he has done. And in the reading today, we encounter lessons such as that, where we can say we see more about Jesus. But one of the wonderful parts about this particular reading is that if we pay close attention as Peter or Simon is really a focal point in this particular text. Peter not only learns more about who Jesus is, he learns so much about himself. And many of us have been accustomed to being close to Jesus and truly not learning anything about ourselves. We read the Bible, but don't examine ourselves. We listen to the words but never transform and change. 
We continue to do the same things over and over again, yet we've been close enough. We sit in services, we read the Bible, we've been listening to sermons, yet somehow we say that we've remained the same. And the closer we get, the more that we learn, the more our faith ought to transform us. Here, when we look in this particular passage, very quickly, we recognize that Jesus shows up at the lake, and it's not the first time. He had been accustomed to coming to the lake, perhaps giving these moments of, of sermons and uh, these moments where he's teaching. Here he is at the shore, and here the boats perhaps were all gathered at this particular time of day, and many of the fishermen were used to hearing him. But a relationship had developed where Jesus was comfortable enough to get into Peter's boat, now, I know me. One of the things I would have done if I did not have the relationship, I would have questioned, who is this man getting in my boat? Who is this man trying to take over something that doesn't belong to him? But there must have been some familiarity as Jesus stepped into the boat, so much so that Jesus was even comfortable asking Simon to push out a little bit so that his pulpit could be seen by everyone. And so here, Peter was, and the other fishermen were used to hearing a sermon while they're cleaning their nets. Maybe some were encouraged by the word. Maybe some just thought it was good afternoon entertainment. Maybe some thought it was just something that would regularly occur. So they were used to being around it, but not transformed by it. So here we hear Jesus. Jesus is speaking. Jesus is preaching. And at the end of this, Jesus does something perhaps that he hadn't done before. He turns to Peter and he says, Peter, push out into the deep. Peter pushes out into the deep, but note, not without some hesitancy, saying here, listen, I've worked all night long, but I'll do it your way. Here, maybe I'll do it because I've tried it my way and my way is not working. Here, I'll do it your way because maybe I've done it so many times and I need some help. Maybe I'll just do anything. You know, maybe we're close enough that I'll just try it. So he pushes out into the deep and he says, at your word. So by faith, that little bit of faith that maybe Peter didn't even recognize he was operating in, he throws down his nets. He catches so much that he has to call the partners of James and John to come help him bring it in because the nets are about to break. He's overwhelmed. Immediately, he learns something about who this man Jesus is. But the important part for today is that really what happened as well is that he came to know himself better. I'm a sinful man. I've been around you, but not paying attention to you. I've been listening to you and doing nothing of what you told me. I've been going to church on Sundays. Matter of fact, I've been in midweek service. I've been in midday service. I've been reading and listening and trying to say here, I've done all these other things, but yet I've never done by faith what you've called me to do until now. And so I see myself a little bit better. I see the shortcomings, not in you, but in me, that need to get better. And so on today, we're going to bring the net in. On today, my partners, who have been close as well, are, are going to be caught up in the wonder, but I can't be caught up in the wonder and stay in the same place. They brought it all ashore, and it says they immediately left everything, and they followed him. I'm thankful for a moment that even while we've been doing this, that we had to pause for a moment to do it over again, that I'm reminded even in this moment while doing this, that even what they caught had to be shared because they couldn't carry it with them. They had to share it with someone else. There are moments in all of our lives where we can see more than what we've seen, hear more than what we've heard, so that we can do more than what we've done. They've left everything and by faith, they followed him. On this day, maybe we need to continue the work that we've been doing and learn more about our Savior, but maybe we need to pick up a little bit better the work of knowing ourselves. Amen. Here on this day, 
I'm so ever grateful for the opportunity to pause and to pray together and to pray that prayer that Jesus prayed with his disciples, the Lord's Prayer. So I invite you to join me in this word of prayer. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who have trespassed against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. The difficulty and often the delays are not found in that we don't know enough about him. The difficulty and the delays are found in the fact that we have not yet come to know ourselves. And now, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord protect you. May the Lord smile on you. May the Lord be gracious unto you. May the Lord show you his favor. And as always, may the Lord give you his peace. Amen.